everybody, welcome to another video. This is an Iwata Fest, it's the WS400 against the Kiwami 4. Just for clear coat, so we've just seen how these two guns perform for clear coat. So what we've got is, I normally do bike stuff, for those that don't watch the channel or, or know the channel, I normally do bike stuff, but I've got a couple of car panels just to put side by side so that we can see what the difference in the guns etc i do it with bike stuff sometimes and people like that so i thought well i would do it with panels and it just appeals more to the guys that do cars because you don't do bike stuff it's difficult to relate doing a bike panel uh, sorry doing a bike tank or or side panel or something like that to a uh, a panel on a car so it's just you know a, a way of involving people a bit more in the videos i guess so we're putting these two up together now these two are quite different price wise certainly in the uk they're quite different price wise the kiwami 4 isn't officially imported into the uk so i i got this from japan and i have had a problem with it actually which i'll put a link in the description to to the video it's, it's leaking air which this this is the one that's leaking air and it is still leaking air although i've managed to get it down to uh, you know much less without changing any parts but there is a problem with it so just bear in mind if you are buying these from, things from japan you do get a problem you may well have to send it back there which which you know can be costly so it's just something you need to bear in mind so with these two with these two guns the difference is about two and a half times in the uk price wise the ws being much much more expensive so you, you would think that the WS would give you a, a, you know, a better all-round experience and finish. And it isn't the case, really. And I've found that a lot with a lot of spray guns. Again, people that watch the channel will, will know that I'm a bit of a, a nutcase, really, when it comes to spray guns. I, lo I, I do like spray guns. And I, I love trying out different things with them and different materials and just, just playing with them for quite a while. And I've come to the assumption that you can pay three times the amount for a spray gun and not actually get a, a better spray job. Uh, there's other things coming to it, things like longevity and things like that. So it's not just the performance, but if you're just looking at performance, you don't have to spend loads of money on a spray gun to get quite good performance. One of the things you'll notice is that the WS is actually slower than the Kiwami 4. Now, the, the, both of these are 1.3. Well, in the case of the WS400, it's actually 1.3 HD, which is actually 1.325, I think, millimeter from memory. So it's a slightly bigger nozzle size than in the Kiwami 4 in this particular video. But the Kiwami 4 is faster. It also uses less air so it actually does very very well the ws 400 has a split nozzle as you'll see there has three cut uh, sorry four cutouts on the nozzle uh the idea of that is it's supposed to atomize finer although it, it probably does but the kiwami 4 just throws it out which seems to to help with a good finish with clear coat because you can get plenty of material on relatively quick but one of the things you'll find if you've got a WS or you're thinking of getting a WS and they are bringing a new version out as well apparently in the UK is a new version coming out with a detachable uh, digital gauge on it but if you if you are thinking about getting a WS you will you will see that or, or, or you will find that it doesn't like full fan and I see sometimes on internet forums people say you know what's a, a good setting for the WS 400 and some people say full and full and I really find that difficult to believe that that works because unless you're spraying quite thick material and you'll see there that I I warm the clear coat up the ambient temperature is about 14 degrees Celsius uh, and I warmed it up to about 32 degrees Celsius warm the clear up and that just makes it flow much easier but it also makes it thinner so with the ws in this case i actually i'll put the settings on the uh, video anyway but i actually put the the fan out 
two turns. It doesn't like full fan. It really doesn't like full fan. So I put it, so turn it all the way in, the fan control all the way in, and back it out two full turns. And that's a good place to start. And for stuff like this, I find two turns is about right. If you turn it out more, you don't really get a bigger fan. But what it does is it separates. You get a top heavy and a bottom heavy fan with much less material in the middle. Which means when you're trying to spray a panel, it's just not even at all. So that was always something I found funny with the WS when I first got it. Is the fact that it didn't like full fan. And it was one of the few guns that, you know, I found that, that was like that. But once you get used to using it, it's actually quite a rewarding gun to use. And it looks really, really nice. It's a superbly, you know, superbly engineered and good looking gun. And the Kiwami is actually quite good looking compared to the, um, the W400, which is, you know, like a, a, just an older version, really. Um, but the... the I suppose it's probably a little bit more, it hasn't got the split nozzle that the WS has got. It's a little bit more um, old school, old school, I, su I would say. Although it's a new, newer model, it's still sort of old school spraying. But it, it's not left um, floundering in front of the WS at all. In fact, it, you know, it, it's perfectly capable of matching the, the output of it. And as I say, it's actually a bit faster. If you like a faster gun, then this in 1.3 or even 1.4, if you want it quicker, is quite good. I don't think it atomizes quite as fine, but the jury would be out on that. And as I say, when you see the finish at the end, you know, it's perfectly capable of, of doing, of competing with the WS400 for two and a half times less. Certainly in the UK, that's the sort of price difference they are. So both of them are really, really good guns. The, the colour here is Honda Urban Titanium. So it's actually like a gunmetal colour. But when you get it a bit of sunlight or strongish light, it actually turns to a sort of like a golden brown, which sounds awful, but it actually looks quite nice. And you'll see it towards the end when we, when we get to it. You'll see that uh, it, it does look pretty good. So you'll see that the pattern here, and you can see on the right hand side, the Kiwami 4 is a slightly heavier pattern. It's not, they, they say O and I, don't they? You know, an I being what a lot of I waters are. So it's a, it's a long, a long, thin pattern. The, the Kiwami 4 is a little bit more squat. So it's a little bit of a, a shorter, thicker pattern than the WS. But you can see here, the results on both are actually very, very good. Um, as I say, the temperature wasn't particularly warm. It wasn't cold. It was 14 degrees Celsius, which I think is, what's that? Is that about 60 Fahrenheit, something like that? I think it's about 60 Fahrenheit, somewhere around there for you guys in the US. So it was perfectly usable. Uh, I did put a bit of heat on the uh, the panel right at the end, just to speed it up, really. It's a U-pole clear, so it's actually quite a cheap clear. Uh, and these results, I'm trying to leave everything a day after. So these were a day after the clear coat was originally applied. And that's just to allow for some dulling. You do get some dieback sometimes in in some of the clears not all of them but some of them you do slightly and particularly if it's the u-pole one with the extra fast which this was it does die back slightly but you can still see it you know it keeps it a good good gloss um you know which is which is what what people want and i found it actually um lives up quite well after you know months and months of use and that's you can see there that's how i tell the panels apart um if, if you're wondering why you know i don't get confused because it's the same color everything's the same but that's the idea of it trying to keep everything the same so that you can see the results and see what you think but i i would be i would hesitate to to split these two because i think the results are just as good if I had to pick one, well, I'd pick the Kiwami, to be honest. Not because the results are better, but because it's much, much cheaper. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to check us out on Instagram. We've got an Instagram page. We put a little bit on there. 
So I'll put the link on the uh, screen now. And there's also a link in the description. Cheers, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.